how do I use that? How do I figure out what form would it be using this differential equation? Or how do I connect this similarity to all these derivatives of phi? Let's first uh, figure out how does this relate to the derivative of u, because uh, there are plenty of derivatives of u uh, out there, right? Can you differentiate this or consider... Okay, so let's say, if we consider delta x to be smaller and smaller and smaller, can we reduce this equality to equality in terms of derivatives? Yes, we can, right? So we know that when delta x is very small, a and b are going to be very close to what? If we want, right? If we want the profile to be continuous at least, right? Okay, so let's say u of x plus dx. So dx is now infinitesimal, okay? I want there exist a y plus, let's see, an epsilon times y. So this is a scaling that is very close to 1. Is equal to 1 plus epsilon prime. So this is another scaling b corresponding to, uh, corresponding to b times u of x and y. Right? Now, let's expand this derivative out. So we get partial u partial x times dx plus partial u partial y times what? Epsilon y, right? So this is plus epsilon y. This is plus dx, so I have dx here. Is, uh, sorry, uh, is equal to, uh, sorry, this should be, pr this should be equal to, uh, is equal to what? I mean, if I write out the whole Taylor series, this will be u of x and y. Right, so if I write down the whole Taylor series, this will be u x y plus epsilon prime times u x y, right? So this term is the same on both sides. Right, <coughs> okay. So this is now the equality I'm going to have. So partial u, partial x, plus, uh, plus, let me see how do I denote it. Uh, So, so let's denote this epsilon over dx to be, let's say, theta, okay, times times y partial u partial y. So this is basically epsilon. I am dividing everything by dx. This is equal to epsilon prime over dx u itself, right? So let's call this alpha. All right, does that make sense? So this is what self-similarity means in a differential form. If you have a self-similar solution, it has to satisfy this set of differential relationships for it to be self-similar. 